Hey there, it's Mike and we're going to do some editing today. I actually wanted to do this as a point of view video because uh, I got quite a good mix of stuff but my camera stopped working and so we're going to have to do this strictly as an edit. But that's just the way it goes with technology. But I spent maybe an hour downtown. I got some pretty interesting stuff. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. But I've already flagged the keepers. So I'm just going to show you my editing process, my thinking process here. This one, I'm actually waiting for the sign, to, the crosswalk to change. It did change. And so I ended up taking a couple shots before I crossed the street. And this one, for me, I just don't know. I kind of like these leading lines. But it's one of these things where is it a vertical... I don't know if I want this crossing thing right here. It's crooked, so there, there's my architectural background coming into play. And, you know, I'm just not feeling it. Unflag it. This is neat. Um, this, like, this secondhand store always has really interesting things in it. I have a mannequin print I've sold multiple times from this store. And they have this mirror kind of pointing down, and I took sort of a self-portrait of myself here and I'm not really sure like that makes it really busy but it does give a context like here's where this mirror is located so I'm almost thinking maybe in winter it would look better like there'd be more stuff I mean it's it's interesting I mean I kind of like it but I don't like all this like busyness and then the other question is you know, is the color distracting? Well, then we go to black and white. And I'm just not sure. Again, maybe the crop needs to be different. Maybe, you know, when I'm undecided, I'm always like, well, maybe I need to change the crop. Maybe I need to do this. I don't know. It's it's okay, but I don't think I'm going to work with it. This is really neat. I love the shad I love the light and the shadow plane here. And I didn't realize this when I was taking it. I do have a vertical of this, but this horizontal, I was focusing on him, but I didn't realize that I'm in this picture right here. I don't know if you can see this. There's my red hat, and there's my hand right there taking the picture. That is really kind of neat. And so I definitely want, I want to work with this. Absolutely. And again, is this distracting over here? Is this... I don't really want to crop top or bottom necessarily because I got his hand right there. There's the top of my head. I got to keep all that. So I'm kind of thinking something like that. I don't want to blow the highlights out too much, but that is actually pretty cool. If I don't think if my reflection was in there, I don't know if I would do anything, but he's actually sort of looking at, at me while I'm taking the picture. It's really cool kind of cool and now the question becomes are the colors distracting is that yellow distracting or do do i go black and white i'll have to decide on that i normally am a big color fan i love that yellow and your eye goes to the yellow and then you can kind of see me and i think here it may take a little bit more work i don't know that's that's a keeper though i'm definitely going to put that um, I think that's going to go in my next book. Sometimes you get lucky. That's not something I saw or envisioned. I'm more looking at this yellow and then him looking in the light and the shadow, and then there I am in the reflection. So here's another self-portrait. This one, I want to be completely covered in leaves. So I want to do that like that and just make it about the leaves, texture it, Really kind of do saturation here, make all these leaves pop, the colors pop. That's cool. I, I, I do like that. It's very interesting. The question here is, do I really bring the shadows? You know, how much do you want to see me? I don't want to lose the leaves. That's kind of the key, but I do want to darken it, darken my shadow a little bit. So maybe like that. That's neat. This guy I've met before, his name is James, and I have actually a couple prints I have to make and give to him. I photographed him about three weeks ago and got a couple neat things just, just down the block, maybe like 100 feet from where he is. And I was across the street, and I kind of wanted to 
frame him from across the street. Like put him in there, kind of, I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe eight by 10. Is he too tight to the frame there? The other thing we could think about here is I don't really want the copper rock sign. If I can avoid it, that would be great. Um, you know, can you find them? I do have this one too, which maybe, maybe we include. Yeah, he's out of focus. Yeah, he's definitely out of focus. My shutter speed is fast enough. No question about that. It's not that 500th of a second. So that one's not going to work. So I guess. Huh. It's, yeah, I don't know. I think it's too distracting. The red. You can't. He's such a small part of the picture in that one. I don't know if I can make that work. I like the idea, though. I wonder if I have any more of him. Let's get rid of my flags here. I know I took. Let's see if he's in focus in this one. Give it a second to load here. I think he might be, but then that person's kind of close. Let's pick that one. We're going to unpick this one. And I think there was another one. No, I guess not. I thought I had more than that. I guess not. Okay. Because, yeah, I don't, eh, I don't really care for that one. This one, let's take a peek. Maybe this time we have to include Copper Rock in there. And kind of something like this I don't know I don't know I don't know that is I'm really cropping time look here's the old here's the picture I took here's where I'm here's the scene that I'm currently trying to decide uh, if I should work with it or not so I'll do some general editing here and I don't Cause this guy is interesting like they're very he's very interesting with the long hair covering his face you got this person with the hat the yellow the big bag like it is i do kind of feel like there's something there i'm just not sure maybe it's vertical maybe it's something like that it's crooked which again my real estate Photographer inside of me is saying fix that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. This styrofoam in a tree. Tried to wait for a person to walk by. It's backlit severely because of where the sun was. And I just don't think it's anything to write home about. Unpick it. Oh, here's, I, I did do another one of James. I must have took that one and then look back at him let's straighten this out I I kind of like this one better he's gonna have to include some of copper rock in there it's a lot of windshield maybe like that you know that's okay make a few adjustments here it's like it almost needs more white you know, and then the question is black and white or color. I like the red. See, the, the thing I like about this, the red, typically, this is a general rule that applies in many situations. The red is the first color that the eye will go to in, in almost every photo. So you see red, boom, your eye goes there. So your eye's going to go to this red right away and see this. And you're not going to get, you're probably going to look here first and then look up here. So it just depends. It, what do I want people to do? I want them to go right there right away. If I don't, I'd go black and white. I'm thinking color though is is my gut instinct here. It's probably what I'll do is leave a color. Definitely something maybe for social media. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Here he is by himself. Here if I just wanted 
and that's a lot. Maybe I go 8 by 10, straighten it out a bit. Here's a reflection of the building he's actually playing in front of. And this isn't too bad. You know, this is one of these where black and white, there's not, there's no color pop from him. So maybe black and white would be how I would take this one here. And I want this to be lighter. Again, besides red, your color will go to the lightest thing in a photo. So I want this to be lighter. I may actually do some burning and dodging. This is kind of cool. I like how this is shimmering. There's reflections. I'm trying to keep the coffee shop sign out of there. I don't want that to be distracting. And he's really tight up against the frame. But you know what? I'm okay with that. That's actually okay. This guy, I swear, saw me and, and stopped. Like he was busy in here. He was burying nuts and things like that. And then I walked by and I thought, you know, that's not, that's kind of interesting. So I started taking pictures and he stopped or she stopped, squirrel stopped. And it just was, I think, waiting for me, waiting for me to go. Like he didn't want me to find out where he was burying his stash for the winter. That's, I think that's honestly what the squirrel was doing. Now, I am not a big proponent of photographing animals necessarily on doing street. I just don't look for it. I don't see a lot of it, but they can make for interesting things. Is this anything that interesting? I mean, yeah, he's got the nut in the mouth. I guess that's okay, but no. Nah. Aha, this one. Here's where I'm going to need some advice. I need some, what do you think? Because I have th really three shots of this. I have this, this guy walking. He's not in front of the window. I like his stride here. Here's one where he's he's broken the window. The two people in there eating, but his stride is really neat. He's got his hands in his pocket. And then I've got one of just them. And so it comes down to, is it this? Do we, do we need a, another human element or do we do just that? And I'm kind of like you know if i have to include this include this foot then i i've got to include the no parking and the car and it's kind of distracting so i'm not going to cut that foot off so then i'm here then i'm here and i'm at, at least an eight by ten maybe I, this is one of these rare occasions where i might actually do a square very rare for me to do square but i think that's what I would end up, yeah, I just don't know any way around it. I do want to straighten it out a little bit. When it's crooked like that, that's the in interior architectural photographer in me. That's actually pretty, I'm going to increase the shadows a little bit. But you know what? I like that. Black and white. I think I would keep the color just because I kind of want the blue jeans to stick out. But that's not bad. The other option, of course, is just having them. We'll take a peek at this quickly. And this is really crooked. This, I don't even know. I'll be able to keep it. Well, I guess I will. Something like that. It's going to have to be straightened out a little bit more. But I'm not really sure if I'm if I'm digging that by them by themselves. It's yeah, it's okay. Here's one of these things again. Like, do you have the human element in there? Like the or sorry, the the guy walking through, or is it just about them? I I don't know why, but I kind of like the guy walking through there. There's there's something simple. And pretty about this. As well. This, uh, the idea here was to include a lot of this overhang, this roof, and just get this guy working, but it's so busy down here. I don't know if it's going to work like this would have to be really dark and then you go to his foot. It's not the idea is to keep this really simple and just show his foot. 
but there's so much going on. There's so much blue and, and stuff. You can't get to it. It's just kind of busy. I, I like the idea. I always look for that idea. Here's a bird that was on the sidewalk that wasn't flying, wasn't moving that much. It, it doesn't look like a city bird to me. I don't know much about birds, but it looks like somebody's pet flew away or something. It was just very, um, very weird. Nothing I'm going to do with that, but I thought I'd show you. You see some, see some weird stuff on the street sometimes. Last one is neat again. Is it just about these? Do, do I want the guy? Do I want the guy in the crane? And I don't think so. I think it's about these guys being framed sort of on the construction site. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Something like that. I think I'm not sure yeah you know it's for a quick a quick shot on my way back to the truck I was only a couple minutes away I was gonna be done kind of wish they were doing something but it's not bad you know and that definitely has to stay color so there's a quick run through I mean there's there's what's possible in an hour if you just slow down and you just look you know there's there's stuff out here um, you know, it's interesting stuff that when I got lucky on self portrait, when it's sunny out, you know, that certainly has potential that I like black and white works well there. Uh, that one I'm not going to keep, but there's that one I have to decide. And then that one, that's all in about an hour. So it just shows you, you know, there's creative stuff out there in the streets. There's things going on. This is over the lunch hour. Um, you know, and just, going out slow walking slowly and just finding things so that's what i came up came up with today i uh, hope that was entertaining or informative or both uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel blah 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 um, and we will talk to you soon with another video thanks have a great day Bye bye